Today I want to talk to you about a Photoshop feature that's not been highlighted very often or people just don't know what to use it for and it's called the single row marquee tool or the single column marquee tool and basically what it does it selects one pixel horizontally or vertically. Um, so I figured some cool things you can do with it so let's just jump in Photoshop and see what I cooked up for you guys. So I went to unsplash.com and looked up milkshake because I thought it would be cool to start off with some product photography. Um, oh, I like the look on this one. So credit to Vince Fleming for taking this autumn, awesome photo. I'm going to drop this sucker right into Photoshop. So first what I want to do is one, I want to separate the subject, which is the milkshake in this one, uh, from the background. Now, so I'm going to copy the layer by holding Alt or just right click and copy the layer. Uh, as you can see, it's already rasterized and if you go, if you have to, uh, Photoshop 2020, that's a cool feature. If you go on the properties, it says remove background. So let's see how it does with this photo. It basically calculates what's the subject and what's the background. So if I'm going to switch out, uh, ooh, see it's already looking very good, very good. Let's see how precise it is. If I turn the opacity on this one, yeah, I think we can work with this. Let me just get rid of this. So basically it makes a mask and if you want to, because uh, it's not always going to be that accurate, but the good thing with the mask is of course you can just go ahead and add some things or delete some things, but this looks good for now. Okay, perfect. So we're going to switch that back to opacity 100. Now the single row marquee tool is here. See, it's a single row, this one takes it horizontally and this one takes one pixel uh, vertically. So I think we're going to use vertically for this one. So let's take the subject, let's click. So you can see, you can see there's nothing to see. So when you zoom in, you actually see that it has selected one pixel uh, from the layer. So it's only going to select from here to here because this is the only thing in the layer because of the mask. Um, but I'm just going to copy the mask real quick. I'm going to make that a rasterized normal layer. So now it's selected on this layer. I'm going to press copy paste and we got one single row of our subject. Let's delete this subject real quick or make it invisible. We can delete it as well. See ya. And then we're going to take this layer. So you can see there is one line. If I hold shift, I can drag it out and double click. So now you can see it took the whole row of pixels and stretched it out. So now you have this cool gradient that matches the photo, of course, and you can do some very cool things with it. Oh, didn't mean to copy that. So when we have it like this, just gonna stretch it out a bit more. So what I'm thinking is, look, if we put it back, you can already see it looks very cool. One of the cool things is that you can warp this, of course. So let's go to edit, transform, warp with the layer selected, of course, and then you can warp it to your liking. So we're just going to play around with it. We're just going to have some fun. Not going to be too precise with it. I'm going to hit enter. And now we have this one. So now it looks like a milkshake sludge caramel splash that's been dragged over the screen behind the subject. So what we can do, we could give the subject, for example, an outer glow. Let's give it a little bit of an outer glow to make it more pop. And of course, it's not going to look realistic because it's graphic design in the photo. Um, let's give this one a little bit of outer glow as well. Let's try some lighting. Let's see what kind of lighting do we have here. Okay. That's a bit too much. So I'm just going to tone it down a bit, make, make the size, make the opacity a little bit. These are the things, of course. Now you know what to do with it and you yeah, just play around and have some fun and see what you can cook up with. So if we have it like this, you could line it up, you could drag it down. But the cool thing is that gradient matches the picture perfectly because all the colors in the right order as shown on the picture. Um, so now, you, for example, you can go ahead and give it some highlights and shadows. You can do it, autom uh, you can do it by hand, take a brush tool, the harshness, uh, hardness down. Oh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's see, let's go around here. Yeah, 
use the outer edges of it. Let's get some black on this one. I'm just going to create an extra layer so I have some room to play with the opacity. So I could, for example, give this one a bit of a darkness there and a bit of darkness there. I'm just going to tone down the opacity a bit to make it a little bit more subtle. I could use a little bit more there. Cool. Um, Something like that, for example. I'm just gonna deselect it. See. I'm not sure about the outer glow, by the way. So let's try a darker color. See, this is the thing. Now you can just play around with it and see what you can do. I think I'm gonna. I think I like this more. Let's turn the opacity because that one. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm very happy with the results right here already. I mean, we did it very fast. And of course, you can add some shadows on the table, have more sludge, have it wrapping around the subject, use it in different images. Um, but I just felt like this single row marquee tool and the single column marquee tool uh, aren't highlighted that much in different videos. So I tried to play around and try to find some cool things to do with it. And I thought this would be something cool to share with you guys. So I'm very curious what you guys are going to use this for. So if you're going to use this, please uh, DM me on Instagram or tag me on Instagram on it because I'm very, very curious what you guys can do with this. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.